In this tutorial, we are going to be using strokes to create separation and depth to our designs. As you can see from the shirts here, that it adds a nice touch and gives your designs a much more professional look. Now please download the file in the description so you can follow along during the tutorial. Also, please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and go ahead and hit that like button. Alright, let's do this. Okay, once you've downloaded the Photoshop file from the link in the description, go ahead and open it up. It's right there. Warning may talk about boats. Uh, it's the design that we did in the previous video. I've changed this font to, I think it's Corner Store. I'm pretty sure it is. There you go, bring up the character styles panel. Yep, Corner Store. Um, if you don't have that activated, go ahead and um, go over to Type and click on this more from Adobe fonts. It's a free font from Adobe, so uh, all you have to do is search for corner store and then slide the bar over to activate it and you should have it. Okay, here we go. So uh, let's go ahead and mouse over this about layer. Let's drag that up to the top. Uh, reason being is layers actually do work like layers. So the, the layer on top is actually above you know, all the layers below it. That'll make more sense once we get the stroke applied. Come down to the effects button right here, click that, mouse up to stroke, click on that. This window will pop up and we're gonna want a white stroke. So come down to color, drag all the way into this top left hand corner, click OK. Now the stroke is white. We wanna make sure that it's an outside stroke. Let's grab this slider, let's move it over to 38 I find is a pretty good number. It doesn't have to be perfect, but eh, anyway, there you go. Uh, go ahead, click OK. All right, so right off, it looks like nothing happened, but that's because the stroke is the same color as the background layer. So if I remove the background layer visibility, you can kind of see this stroke outline here. That's what we want. Now to use this effectively, what you want to do is you want to give it some overlap and that will give it the appearance of floating above other lines of text or objects. So with the move tool selected and I like to have this auto select uh, feature checked off. It allows you just to select individual layers without, without having to navigate to the layer panel over here on the right hand side. So. Go ahead and click the about layer. If you hold down shift, it'll keep it in place um, horizontally. Uh, move it up and see, there you go. Uh, you can start to see it overlapping and it gives, gives it the effect of hovering above the May talk line of text. You can use the up and down arrows to fine tune it. We, we, we don't want it so much over that it's you know hard to read. You basically just want to kind of trick the eye slightly I think that's pretty good. Come down here to boats, click on that. Again, hold down shift, drag it up, and look, it'll slide underneath. That's really cool. For me, I think that's just a little bit too much. I'm gonna use these down arrow to move it a little bit. What do you think? I think it looks good. Go ahead and close this group. With this group highlighted, hold down control, press J. What that does is that makes a copy of this group. Uh, I like to do that just in case in the future when I'm working on this and I mess something up, I still have um, the uh, untouched version of this entire design in here. And it's nice and safe. So uh, toggle visibility, so we're not seeing that. What we wanna do now is we're gonna use this stroke to erase portions of the text that's below it. And the reason being is we don't want to print the stroke on the shirt or um, hoodie or whatever you're printing it on. What we want is just this stroke to be gone, but we also want the black text below it to be gone where the stroke is. So how we do that is we're gonna need to rasterize all this stuff 
An easy way to do it is right click here and just merge this group. Now what that did was that made this all one layer and that's exactly what we want now. To get rid of this stroke, we're gonna select this color and delete that exact color from the entire design. And it's very easy, you'll see how to do it here. Come up to select, click that, come down to color range. The eyedropper tool shows up, you can see it here. Um, just go over to the stroke, click on that, all right. Press OK. You'll see all these little ants come up and it's just around the about because that's the only color uh, on this design. Uh, that's the only white color on this design. So it's chosen that. Uh, let's go ahead and press delete. Now it's deleted it. To get rid of the selection, hold down control, press D. There you go. Now, as you can see, we have this design that has punched out or knocked out the uh, text below. The stroke has done that, and it still appears to be above these two lower layers, but there's no stroke anymore. Well, there is, but it's been erased. And this is what it'll look like on a shirt. Looks great. Um, another easy trick, once, once you have this like this, is you can come down here to effects and do a color overlay. There you go. Once that's up. You can see it's it's made the entire design white. Uh, you can use it for dark colored shirts, or you can just navigate to you know here and blue, you know dark blue. I guess dark blue is pretty good for boats, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. Very nice, very useful. Uh, you'll use it on just about every single one of your designs in the future. And that's it. Once again, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please subscribe and hit the like button. And if you have any other um, recommendations or things that you want to learn in future videos, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time.